Hi everybody, President Lori Leshen here, talking with Professor Greg Fisher and Vice President Stephen Flavin about a really exciting new initiative at WPI called Practice Point. So guys, thanks for coming in. And Practice Point is really all about the idea of cyber physical systems in health and medicine. So first of all, Let's explain to everybody what are cyber physical systems. Sure. Well, we're really excited. This is, it aligns very well with the robotics engineering program. If you think about robots, there's sensors, there's actuators, there's intelligence, and that's really cyber physical systems on a much, much broader sense. So, what we're talking about is smart medical devices. Right. Smart devices that help us be healthier. So that's great. So that's what Practice Point is all about. Say more about what Practice Point actually is. So what I'm excited about is it's going to create an environment, an environment that brings together academia, industry, and healthcare practitioners in a single place where they can do rapid uh, research development and applied testing. So this unique environment is very disruptive, very innovative, and I think we have all the elements to bring together a really exciting initiative. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's going to be amazing because it's going to provide a place where people can really try things out, test new things, right? I mean, I always love your story about trying to test uh, surgical robots inside the MRIs at Brigham and Women's at 3 a.m. Talk a little bit about some of the challenges you face in trying to test these things. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, when you're putting together a medical device, they require this iterative development. So you need to be able to get into these clinical care scenarios, do your testing, and then get back and actually do engineering changes and the modifications, and then get back into these clinical settings. It can take days, weeks, even months between these experiments sometimes if you have to work in a true clinical setting. So we're really excited about this idea of interleaving these point of practice care scenarios with engineering, R&D, and manufacturing facilities that are co-located. So it's going to have certain kinds of environments within Practice Point that will be the test beds. Tell us about a couple of the environments. Absolutely. So we're going to have this uh, hybrid uh, medical imaging and operating room suite. We're going to have this uh, controlled care scenario mocking up uh, an emergency room or a clinical care scenario. Uh, we're going to have a residential suite and then this rehab suite. So I love the idea of the residential one. That to me always really resonates. The idea of aging at home and, yeah. and there's, we're going to be getting so much more data and information out of smart homes that will help people stay healthier longer in their own homes. We need places to test those things out. And it's not just the devices, right? It's understanding how to get the data safely, securely. It's all about making sure they're hacker proof and all that as well, right? Absolutely. This is about designing security into these devices from the ground up. So working with cybersecurity experts at the point that you're actually designing and testing right. these devices, not waiting until an afterthought after you've built the device and trying to get it into somebody's home. Right. That's a great point. So funding, let's talk yes. about this. So this was a great win for WPI. Tell us a bit about the funding and where it's coming sure. from. Sure. We worked with the Mass Tech Technology Collaborative, we put in a proposal and worked with them and we secured a $5 million capital grant to help build out this facility. We have core founding partners in uh, complementary partners like UMass Medical School and MITRE and of course our, our anchor partners GE Healthcare who committed $2.5 million over two years to help get this up, up and off the ground. It's very exciting. It's a great partnership with the state and with GE moving here into the Commonwealth. It's a wonderful thing to see. So talk about why this is important to do right now. Sure. Uh, so medical devices are obviously a core um, business within the within the Commonwealth. So, and WPI's expertise in robotics and cyber physical systems and cybersecurity, it's really this uh, perfect meshing and then tying this in with this ability to build these facilities, get together the caregivers, get together the researchers, get together industry, and really accelerate this industry. It's really an ideal time to push forward with this. And, and we've also learned about the state's priorities going forward in the administration. So there are four priorities, cybersecurity, digital health, advanced manufacturing, in IOT slash robotics. Practice Point aligns against all those priorities very closely. So the time is perfect for WPI to step up with its capabilities and, and, and deliver on this. So one last question. How is Practice Point going to help Worcester? So we're looking at creating an ecosystem of, of partners. So it's not just the established partners like General Electric and MITRE, but we're looking at the emerging companies, the fast growing companies, the local companies, the community. This is going to be something that's going to connect tightly to the, to the Worcester community, the Central Mass community, because it's about how you get your health care. So we're looking at seeing that develop. That's great. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.